Morning, you guys. I hope you're having a blessed day in the Lord. Um, I felt prompted in my spirit to come on here and repost a video. And since I don't actually um, have the, the digital copy of it anymore, um, I'm just going to put a link in the description box to the video that's posted on this channel. Um, this dream was given to me in the spring of 2014, and it um, was a, a very intense dream and it, it left me with a, um, an icky feeling because it was so it was not good just in in its its core essence just bad the very opposite of good and I couldn't understand why the people were so excited they were thrilled cheering even um, and now at the time, I, I understood that it was it was evil and uh, good was was a being allowed to be overcome by evil because there was so much of it, and but I couldn't understand why it was um, set up the way it was, like it was in the middle of the sea, um, and now I understand. It was a dream about the beast rising out of the water. All right. And so I had drawn a picture of it after I posted the video. I didn't spend a whole lot of time on the picture, so it's not the greatest, but I just wanted to show it to you. And then I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna put the link in the description box. Um, I was standing probably right in this area. And it was more like if you could take and make this to where you would look at it from this angle, not, um, this is kind of like an aerial view. It's coming in as a, you know, looking in from here. I was down here standing on the water, like on a flat rock in the water. And this is the earth that was in the picture and everything, the water was a murky, murky water. Very, 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 very choppy, actively choppy. And uh, the earth was the only thing that was beautiful in it. It was um, green and, um, blue and white just like you would look at it from space and this is the amphitheater and when i say it was giant i mean it was huge and the people that were in there i mean like tiny tiny like you would have to come in uh, zoom in i mean crazy small to see them and that's what my my eyes did whenever i heard the cheers of the people in i didn't know there were people in there until i saw the earth being pulled under and um, then I heard the cheers and I saw all the itty bitty movement and my eyes just were able to like zoom in and it's like the people were so small and there were thousands upon thousands of them, hundreds of thousands. I mean, just a, a lot of people. So um, y'all, this, this dream represents the beast rising out of the sea and uh, so please watch the the uh, video. I, like I said, I got it linked in the description box, and um, I hope this blesses you. Please stay in God's word. Please ask Him um, to keep you from being deceived, and pray that you're counted worthy to escape the things which are coming upon the earth to test the earth, and that you're able to stand before the Son of Man. You know, in the Book of Revelation, mankind says, um, "Who is able to stand before Him?" And clearly, people are able to stand before Him. It's those who have prayed uh, for that ability. You know, in Luke chapter 21, there at the end, um, not only that you are um, can escape the things that are to come to test the earth, but also to be able to stand before the Son of Man. So, um, come to the throne of grace boldly in your time of need. Do not run from the Lord. Repent of your sins daily. Stay in His Word. Stay prayered up. Stay um, with the armor of God. That is the only way you are going to stand against the wiles of the devil. Those are his tricks and his schemes, his clever deceit. Um, so, um, and y'all just keep each other lifted up in prayer. Uh, and y'all be blessed. And um, anyway, that's it. Thanks, you guys.